you feel a change in mood or a shift in your energy levels, it can often be traced back to a change in the moon's movements. Uh, well, lunar lovers, brace yourselves because 2024 <laughs> will see four new super moons. Lunar lovers. So what will the rare lunar cycle actually mean for your star sign and how can you harness the celestial power to make improvements in your life? To tell us uh, what the skies have in store for us, we're joined by Natasha Weber, a.k.a. Astro Tash. Hello, Astro Tash. Hey. Hello, guys. I think, think most people have some sort of vision of a supermoon in their head, but what actually is it? Well, when most people think about a supermoon, they imagine this big, bright moon. Mm. And that is certainly the case when it also happens to be a full moon. But actually, new moons can also be supermoons. They're just less visually spectacular because a new moon is invisible. So the definition of a supermoon is when the moon is at perigee, which means that it's within 90% of its closest proximity to Earth. And we want something from this supermoon. You say there's more astrological power about. Yes, yeah, so in astrology, every new and full moon has its own unique astrological message and influence on us. And that influence depends on the zodiac sign that the moon and the sun are in and also how it impacts us. So I guess with this new moon, what we're looking at is um, new beginnings and radical changes. So we should be looking to do things like that or don't do things like yes. that? Yes. And so if you want to say start a new sport or start a new regime, this would be a good time to do it. Yes, exactly, yeah. because new moons are all about new beginnings. But when it's a super moon, these new beginnings are emphasised. I guess you could say they're superfied. When you say radical change, mm. is that like... Would $200 million be <laughs> like a radical change? I think it would. No, yeah. I'm just curious. I think that would cover just it. just wonder how I'm feeling tomorrow. <laughs> Absol absolutely. Um, mm. So the meaning, the particular meaning of this... Supermoon, has it got any particular meaning? Yes, it does. So this uh, particular supermoon, it's happening on February the 10th yeah. in Aquarius. And this is really urging us to move forward into those new beginnings with a stronger sense of self, mm -hmm. um, to embrace our uniqueness and assert our independence. And in fact, we might find ourselves thrust into situations that demand that from us. Day to day, will we feel any different? Is there anything we can capitalise on? Is there any feeling we, that can launch us, take us somewhere else? Should we be looking out for that? Well, I think this is an influence that is going to mostly affect the Aquarians, the Leos, Taurus and Scorpios of the Zodiac. They might see this in their everyday lives. OK. Mm. Oh, I'm a, I'm a Taurus. That's mm. good. Uh, well, it's not just this one. There are three more consecutive supermoons coming. When are they yes. expected? So this one on February the 10th in Aquarius is mm. actually one of five. Five, OK. So it's yes. the second in a series of five consecutive new supermoons. So right. the next one we have coming up is on March the 10th. It's in Pisces. So it mostly affects the Pisces, Virgos, Geminis and Sagittarians. It has a focus on health and wellness. So these signs might be feeling a little bit more vulnerable or sensitive at this time. So a bit of extra self-care and TLC is called for. And then we have another one on April the 9th. And this one is mega impactful because it's also a total solar eclipse. Ooh. So, oh, we, right, yes. Right. You might have to remind us again on closer to April 9th. Yes, yeah. I will. Yeah, I will. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Well, we won't be seeing this one in Australia, though. It will be visible in some parts of America. Oh, yes. I'm not as interested then. If it... right. <laughs> but, but, you, but you are interested in May 8 because you're a Taurus, well, which I, means I, money and love coming your way. Yes, yeah, so, oh. so the new supermoon on May 8th, it's in Taurus, so this highlights money matters. It also highlights our love lives and our priorities and our economy. So this one does impact the Taurus, Scorpios, Leos and Aquarius mostly. And that's in May? May 8th. That's oh. when Antonio Sabato Jr. is in town and it's love Quite and money. Possibly. Oh, Quite possibly. Perfect. And I'm no it. astrologer, but if it's affecting love and money, if there's a lot of money, you could come to love somebody a lot more, couldn't you? Or leave your old love yes, and find yes, a new yes, love. With that lots. depends how you define love, it's I would say. Don't answer those stupid questions. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely to see you. Time. Thank you.